Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map. I don't know why, but I'm rubbing my hands together. Maybe because it's cold and rainy. Uh, last episode, we built the balloon on top. I'm actually recording straight after this episode because I was going to go and do this uh, delivery that we were meant to get. Like I mentioned last episode. Hasn't turned up yet, and I'm not going to stop and just sit there and wait for a delivery to come. I'm going to carry on recording, and just, they can sort it out when they come. <laughs> not my problem. I want to get the top. I want to connect up the balloon today if I can, but I also want to get this sort of cover on top of the balloon. That's going to look totally awesome. What we need to do is we need to find the middle point of the balloon to get it, like, exactly how you'd want it. So let's do... Every three blocks, just to try and work out for the minute. One, two, three. And I think I might be losing power soon because my lights keep flickering as well. Okay, that's the middle point. So we'll take those away and take those away. Now I'm going to use this dark wood, which is the same wood we built the uh, boat out of. So it's all going to match in colour-wise. And what we need to do is we need to make like little archways that go down the boat. Now they're not really that hard to do. We're going to do one here. Then we're going to go two, and then, I don't know, three or four, two, I think three would be good, and then come back down again. So it's going to go two, one, one, and then go up, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, and just keep it on the side of the world. Don't try and come out at all with it. Just keep doing this pattern all the way around. Let it just flow with the uh, the pattern of the, the balloon. Up. Two, one, two, three. We're still in line. Yeah, good. One, two, two. One, two, two. One, two, three. Okay, and then this is the middle point. So what we're going to do is we're just going to carry this on over the top and then drop it down here. So on the ends, it's sort of covered up. You could, if you wanted to, I suppose, do something like this. What one looks better? Oh, I like that. I like that. That sort of then curves around nicely. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that one. Now, on the front, we should get this... If we're dead in the middle, which I think we are, we should end up with the same pattern on the front as we just done on the back. If my maths are 100% uh, correct, that is... Ow, an itchy head. One, two, three. One, two, one. One. <laughs> Nearly messed it up then. Two, one, two, three... One, two, one, one. There. One, one, two, one, two. Three. I hate waiting for... It, may, it makes you really nervous when you've got to wait for a delivery because you're like, well, if I if I don't wait, it's going to come and I'm not going to see it. And <laughs> do you know what I mean? You think, uh, why isn't it here yet? I can't, you, you can't do nothing. You don't want to do anything in case you miss it. It's just such a frustrating thing. I keep looking out the window to see if it's there. And it's going to be really annoying because it means I'm going to probably have to cut away if it does come. Uh, which one is it now? That one and, and that one. Just to get the pattern started again. That one, that one, that one, that one. Is that right? Down, 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 up. Same one, down, down, up. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three. One, two. One, one, one. One, two. Okay, this is going to look absolutely fantastic. Let me quickly run down just this last section, and I shall be back. All right, fantastic. That just saved a little bit of time, and it joined up absolutely perfectly. Wonderful. So we've got this sort of um, archway pattern all the way down the side. This is what's going to be have a cover on top of the balloon. Basically, how I think these airships are supposed to work, these airships are supposed to work, is the balloon isn't attached to anything because you can't put the hole in the balloon without popping it. So I think the tarp is what holds the balloon in place. The tarp that goes over the top of the balloon. Like uh, if you had a helium balloon, that you know, the one the types of balloon that, that stay up without you having to push them up. And then you put like a, a plastic bag, like a super, supermarket bag, over the top and hold it down. You'll be able to hold the balloon inside the bag, but the bag is still being held up by the balloon. So what we need to do is, uh, this will all be a colour on top. Now what world do we have? I want, a cyan would be lovely, like that's not a bad one. Yeah, I think this one, nice light, light blue. Maybe even with some yellow wool around the edge. 
Okay, yellow wool goes around the edge. Just on top of it, like this, okay? Now, it's it's a little bit tricky to sort of figure out, but basically, you just want to place the blocks directly on top of wherever the closest part to the ship is. So, don't place them on here, because that's not closest to the ship. Place them there, because that's... It's, it's a tricky thing to try and do, and it's difficult for me to do while talking, but you'll sort of end up with this sort of pattern going down the side. Over the top, keep it as close to the balloon as possible because you want to be, you want it like the balloon is being held in place with it. Once you've gone all the way around with the gold or the yellow, but I, I'm going to call it gold, we then want to do the same thing with the blue. But the blue is going to be around the entire top of the boat. So you basically, you're just going to keep filling around as close to the boat as you possibly can, like this. Keep it nice and close. And it'll make the balloon look like it's being held in place. Ah, it's going to look totally sick. Okay, I should do that off camera in a minute. I don't want to jump away. Oops. Just yet. Uh, but yeah, just keep it as close as you can. And as you can see, it'll cover all of the white up. And look like it's actually being, like the balloon's inside of it. Then what we want to do is where these parts come down, we want to put a band that goes underneath the ship. So I think we've got a fence. In fact, that should be pretty good. If we use the fences, I'm going to use two fences below each one. So each time it drops down, we're going to put two fences. Uh, let's just stick to one side for the moment. I can do the other side off camera. So this is going to look a little bit like a, like a rope. Or meant to look like a, a sort of rope tying it together. Down here. Down there. And at the front, we have two points on the front, but that's okay. Oh, I'm going to wrap that around like that. Beautiful. And then underneath this, what we're going to do is just put a band that goes down the bottom of the uh, boat, uh, bottom of the balloon. It's just going to wrap around like this. I think if I take that one away, stair. I'm going to put a stair there and a stair there. And just going to wrap it down. And around the boat. So we're going to have it go down like this. Uh, that one. That one. Oops. And obviously up the other side again. And keep doing that on each one. And then the balloon will really look like it's held in. That's going to look so cool. I can't wait. I'm going to do it now. I shall be back. Just cover around with the gold. Cover over with the blue. Put the strips in. It's going to look totally cool closing in on the final i don't know final hundred blocks or so it's taken forever i'm not joking you right this has taken so long to do i thought yeah putting another layer on top would be no problem that won't take long at all oh how wrong was i i cannot believe i couldn't believe i i still can't believe how long it just takes to do but I'm getting there. I've made sure, though, that I've stuck really close to it, so I have no idea how it actually looks. If I pull away and it looks terrible, I've just wasted, like, literally, like, half an hour of my life. <laughs> That's how long it's taken. Uh, but it's not. It's not going to look terrible. It's going to look absolutely stunning. I can just feel it. I just know. Uh, down here. It, once you start the start getting the, the pattern, it goes very... It makes it easier. It doesn't go quick, though. But just no white blocks be seen on the top half. Here we go. Boom. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Check that out. Yes. See. Oh, no. Weather clear. See how it looks like the balloon is strapped in it. So we've got the tarp over the top to hold it in. And then uh, these uh, these beams are sort of holding it together as well. Now, I changed the this end to match the same as the other end because for some reason this end had two. I'd redone that and changed that up. I've put down all of the full blocks and stairs. Just want to go down the middle now to, uh, to really sort of make it look like it's all being held together really nicely. So we come down here. I always, I think it's easier to put the full planks down first and then put the stairs on afterwards. Instead of switching between as you go, I think it's easier. I find it easier and quicker to go down with planks first. So we want to put all... Keep missing that little tiny one block underneath here. 
Working upside down is just the worst. Looking up, everything seems to be inverted, or it's not inverted, but you think it's inverted because you're upside down. <laughs> okay, and then go around with the stairs. Just put the stairs on the edge. It just rounds it off. You don't need to put the stairs. If you don't want to put the stairs, you don't need to. Um, it's, it's an extra step. Uh, I think it looks better. I think it makes it look like they're a little bit more rounded. Um... A little bit more tighter, closely knit to the uh, to the balloon itself, uh, but it's not it's not a necessity. You don't need to, but yeah, that just looks like it's properly held in. So now we actually need to join. We need to merge the boat and the balloon together. Now this shouldn't be too hard because we can use these fences, sort of like how the masts on a pirate ship are. You know when you got the mast that goes from the middle of the boat and it goes up to the sails and then you have the ropes that go up either side. We've built those kinds of uh, pirate ships before on the channel. We need to do a similar thing but instead of going to like a middle pole we're putting it outwards to the edges. So anywhere really works. Anywhere that you sort of fancy joining them up you obviously want them to be in line with these poles here. So I recommend probably starting from the top. I'm going to start right there. Seeing as though it's a, a full block. That we can just sort of play straight onto. And I'm going to make these. Three blocks wide. Oops. So it's sort of going to wrap around. I thought I placed you. I thought I heard it place. Like that. Now what we want to do is we want to join up this. To there. Now is that a straight line? Oh my. Look at that. That might be a straight line. Let's have a quick look. If it is a straight line, I don't know if I want a straight line. I might want to join it in a little bit or so. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go for it. No, straight line. Straight line would work. I've got. I've got some ideas. If we need them. What is this? Oak fence. I might be able to speed this up with World Edit. I haven't used much World Edit since uh, a few episodes ago building the hull. We've sort of done it all, all by hand. Which is sort of nice. I'm sure a few of you at least. Oops. A few of you at least will, will uh, like that. Let's go from there to there. Set fence. It's an oak fence. So it's sort of all blended. Yes. Okay. On that one. You don't want to do it on all of them. I think that one. The middle one. And that one. Now this middle one. We could sort of force it to go to the. That one right there. I, that might be a straight line as well. That is so unintended, but so great that it's worked out like that. So let's have these going down. Oops. To. Okay, we're just a little bit. That's fine. That's that's fine with me. Uh, in fact, that one's going to be in line because that's going to go there. Let's go from that point to that point. Add the one around here. Now, how do we want to do this bottom part? I could do it something like this. And I think I will do it something like that. I think I'm going to do that. And then remove anywhere where it oops, anywhere where it doubles up. So that one. Oh, no. They need to be there. Is that good? Yeah, no. A little bit higher. That one. And there. And then I'm going to go up this middle, like that. So it's sort of, it makes it look a little bit thinner. When you're looking at it from this side, you can't really tell that it's multi-layered. But when you look at it from here, you see how the sort of, it looks like there's more ropes all tying it down. That's really, really nice. Okay, I might also want to make it five blocks towards the bottom. So it goes from five up to three. I think that would be nice as well. So let's have this going up here. And then maybe drop it back here. I think somewhere to about that height. On this side, I'm going to have it slightly lower. Maybe two blocks lower. And this runs down to there. Yeah, and then it looks like it goes from sort of wider to thinner. I think it's too high. Though. I'm going to drop them both by two. That's better. That's good. You can even climb them as well. Well, obviously in Minecraft you can't. But like if you were on the ship itself in the real world, in the real fantasy world... Yeah, you'd be able to climb up them, maybe get on top of the balloon for whatever reason. Repairs, maybe the tarp has um, has split slightly and it's starting to tear. And you, you, you need to save it before, otherwise it's all going to 
rip and the balloon will go out and the ship will come down. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I need to do another four to join the balloon completely up. And then we'll come back, we'll evaluate the situation and see what to do next. Yes! Yes! Okay, so it's, it's properly joined up together. I think that looks so cool. It looks like the rope is really taut because the boat's heavy and the balloon's lifting it up. That's absolutely great. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we want to uh, decorate it up a little bit. The ship shape is now done. They're joined together. Everything is exactly how you want. I really like these end ropes as well because these look really, really taut like they're, they're stretching. You don't want them to be curved because if the ropes were sort of curved, it would look like it was had it had slack. How does that work? The balloon's meant to be lifting this heavy boat up. You want the, the rope to be really, really, you know, tense. So, to make it pretty, I think we want to use... Uh, some glowstone, because this is textured really nicely, uh, with some fences dropping down off the balloon. Either off the balloon itself, or maybe off the top. I don't really know. I think maybe off the edges would be quite nice. Like if we came off here, and we go down different heights on them all. So let's say this one comes down four blocks. Glowstone. This one comes down one, two, three, four, five, six. Glowstone. One, two, three, four, five. Glowstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Glowstone. <laughs> uh, what level? This one. One, two, three, four, five. Glowstone. And, oops, one, two, three, four. Glowstone. Uh, on the back, not on that one, it won't, it can't really fit, but on this back one it will. One, two, three, four, five, six. Glowstone! Yes! Ah, oh, 100%. Yeah, they look like they're just dangling. You can imagine, like, the ship going through and, um, and sort of rocking in the wind a little bit and the sort of glowstone things on the little ropes just sort of swinging. Swinging in the in the wind. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. I love it. I love it. Uh, that one. Is it that one or is it the one up here? No, it is this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Glowstone! And the front one. I got it on the other side yet, yeah, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Glowstone! Okay, beautiful. That is super nice. I absolutely love that. As far as the rest of the ship goes on the top, there's not much structural stuff that needs to be added because there's no masts or anything on this boat. They were all removed. I do think, though, that we want something in the middle to get down. Um, I'm thinking if this is the middle point, I would say that's around around the middle point. Let's make a 5x5 uh, five five or 5 Get rid of all of those in the middle. And then around the edge, we had something like this. And, oops, like that. Replace that one. Down this side. That's the, this is the great thing about using slabs on these boats, is because everything, when you use full blocks, then just sits a little bit above. It really nice effect. Fill these in with fences. This is where uh, fruit and veg is usually stored below this section. I don't know why. Um, oops. That one and this one. We need a staircase that goes downwards. Uh, I think here is like perfect for a staircase. We could run it this way. Like that. And then have the staircase. Uh, I've got stairs somewhere here. Have the staircase run down this part. Doom, doom, doom. I might as well do them on the back there as well. There. This way. Oops. This way. This way. How, how big is the inside of this boat? It's got a decent size. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is pretty big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've got plenty of room for, uh, 
for a, a decent sized interior in here if we wanted to. We could do a whole uh, pretty cool boat interior. One of my favourite boat interiors isn't actually, well, it's sort of weird. It's off a, a game called Fallout 4. Uh, I'm sure some of you have heard of it. I even done a little series on it. It was going to be a full series, but you guys really didn't enjoy it. It was getting like no views, so I just stopped it after about 10 episodes. But there's this uh, sort of uh, mission, if you like, that you can come across in the world where there's this boat um, that has been modified into like an airship, uh, but in real life, if you like. And um, it's run by robots. Like the whole, the whole ship's been taken over by robots and they all have weird pirate accents. It's hilariously funny. But it's actually got a really well laid out interior with staircases and the cannons and everything like that. Oh, talking about that, we should, probably should put some cannons in here. We'll worry about that. Like, when we do the interior, we'll see if we can actually get any cannons in there. Because that would be nice to have. Okay, that is looking really good. That's already just improved the whole look of the... Um, oops. The whole look of the, the, the base there, just with these two sections. Let's take this away. And have logs that run down there, run down here, and run along there. And that allows us to put some fences on top. I actually really like this log look better than the cobblestone look. So I think I'm actually going to remove this and replace it with logs. I, I just prefer the look of it. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that, but that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll go with that. So either that or, or that. Oops. Or that. No, I like them facing out that way. Oh, what an excellent mistake I made. And then put these down here. Down here. And then in the middle. Put those. Just as a little part where you can stand. Maybe I should bring that one back as well. That one, that one, and that one. Yeah. Look at that. Brilliant. Fantastic. I love it. Okay. Um, anything else that we really want on the on the base of the ship oh walls cobblestone walls we want these sort of running down the side how would you get onto the ship i have no idea maybe they would throw over a ladder over the side you know and then like throw down a little rope ladder so you could climb up it i don't know exactly how you would get in it but i think some cobblestone walls would look fantastic look at the the little bit of lighting it leaves on the edge just that extra little part. Let's just run it around the entire the entire side for the minute. I know, I've still got those glowstone lights to do. Don't let me forget that. The glowstone on the other side. Have these running up here. I think it just caps off the boat really nice. It should cap the boat off really nicely. Without backing off, I can't tell, but you can't tell until you've done the whole lot. So I might as well go all the way around the ship and then and then back off and we'll be able to see if we like it or not. I think it's going to look fantastic with the cobblestone walls. But uh, you can't tell yet. Okay, not too far. The front's easy because the front, it gets really thin towards the front. So there's surprisingly little blocks needed. Uh, we'll have these down here. Again, I know I, I say this quite a lot, but this would make a really cool survival house. Whenever we do a build like this, or, you know, a build that looks so cool, you think, if someone put the effort in, and it is a lot of effort to do this in survival, because it would be awkward, awkward to do in survival, awkward to place the blocks, awkward to get the materials, awkward to keep coming up and down. Uh, it, it, it would be difficult, but if you pulled this off and you had this as your survival house that you came up to, maybe you ender pearled up to it or, or something like that uh, to get in. So it's a little bit quick and you had like, a chest down there with a load of ender pearls so you would never be stuck. It would just be fantastic, but the amount of effort that you would need to do this would be absolutely insane. Okay, and then one just poking over the end there. Yeah, I like that. See how that just gives that little bit of edging? It looks like, a, although it's the same texture, it looks slightly different. Just works. Just edges that off perfectly. Uh, I think we want to add some chests around the place. Wherever we can. We can't put them on here because they're floating. So, oh, I can't put them on there because they're floating as well. They're floating everywhere. Okay, if they're floating everywhere, then I'm going to have to add a block underneath them. Let's swap these two round. There. There. 
just pretty much randomly place some chests down over the place. And uh, and you'll get this sort of really cool effect. Oh, yeah, have some single chests as well. We should not forget the single chests. Just sort of at the front here a little bit. Not all over the boat, but just in like strategical areas, like little clumps of them. See how that, that adds a little bit to it? You want the same sort of towards the back here and over this side. Um, uh, I could put them there. No. No, I like having the, the birch covering up all the wood. Uh, we'll have one right there. Right there. Oop. And on top of this part. None on the other side, but we'll have some over this side on here. Or, or, or some on this side over here. That one and that one facing this way. All of these chests are still open, even the ones underneath the fences will still open because fence isn't a full block. So they're all usable as well for storage as well, making it even better for survival. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then at the back, we'll have a few as well. Oh, are we actually on the right height? No, we're not. I thought we were. Okay, that one. This one. Single one, single one, single one. Double. Double, single, single, single. Make sure they face in different directions as well. Beautiful. Okay, that's all I've got time for this episode. I think this looks so cool. Little bits of detail. There's still some more detail that we can do. Trap doors, signs, buttons, just to add those little um, those little parts. Since though this is like the big finale of the adventure map, this is where we end off up up at uh, to finish the the, uh, the the story. You want it to look really nice, and I think. We're nailing it so far. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.